everybody welcome to my channel my name is Julia and uh, um, just thought I'd come in here on here and say hey real quick I am laying in bed it is Friday Friday morning and uh, I feel like the days have been all running into each other but the house is quiet this morning my husband got up early with a buddy to go pheasant hunting and my girls are being good. I had a bowl of cereal in bed and it was fantastic. Um, we went out on a date night last night, which was supposed to be really fun. And um, one of my husband's lieutenants actually arranged the whole thing so that um, all of his shifts could go out to dinner with their spouses together. So we did that. He arranged it at like a high-end steakhouse. So, you know, going in, you're probably going to get really good service. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be delicious because it's a steakhouse. And we left so disappointed. Um, I ordered my steak, which was like a $40 plate. I got a um, New York strip loin. And I ordered it medium um, well. I didn't, want, I, wanted, I didn't want any pink, but I didn't want it like super well done. I'm pregnant and know it's supposed to be well done, but I don't mind having a little bit of pink. And um, I got my steak and it was um, like on the verge of bleeding. And so I had to trade with my hus husband who ordered medium rare steak um, and his was well done. It was just, so that was just one part of it. And then another buddy of ours got steak and asparagus and his asparagus came out completely raw I could not believe it no seasoning no sign of oil butter nothing it was crazy and then so we sat down at 6 30 that was our reservation we didn't get our food until 8 p.m. we got two rounds of drinks in between that time it took them 30 to 45 minutes to bring us drinks each round and um, knowing the guys they're firefighters um, but like they're guys they want to have their guy time and so they obviously like drinking and socializing and they couldn't even do that so it was so frustrating we were all so put off by the experience i thought about it all night i ended up emailing the steakhouse this morning first thing when i got up because i was just so upset at everything that had happened it was just one thing after another we would have been better off honestly going to like texas roadhouse we all love texas roadhouse and it's loud and it's fun we should have just done that. <laughs> but anyway, it was fun to see good friends and um, see all of the firefighters' spouses that I don't see all the time when I do stop in at the firehouse. So that was really cool. Um, and then I just decided to come on here and say hey because I'm laying here and the sweet baby girl is moving like crazy in my belly. Everybody last night was able to feel her move too which was neat. I think she's going to be a little party girl or she's just used to her sisters being loud. So every time she hears like lots of talking and loud noises, she moves a lot, which is funny. Um, so super cute. I was going to see if I could get some of it on video. I don't think I'm going to though. I'm sitting at a weird angle and my window is right here to the right and I just can't seem to get it on video, but I thought I'd come and check in. Today is Friday and I am officially 27 weeks pregnant. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. We just got new insurance a couple weeks ago. We got our new, we have Kaiser now, our new cards like last week. And so I called and I scheduled my appointment for next week yesterday, which was really good. So I will go in for my 28 week appointment next Wednesday. And I will also have my glucose test done and I'm just excited to have a checkup. I think my last official checkup was, I was 23 weeks. So four weeks ago from today, because I knew my insurance was changing, so I did it a week earlier than I normally do. And then um, my plan for the day is to, I honestly cleaned so much yesterday after Christmas. So I'm going to relax, but we have a spare bedroom. We had a mattress in it. We took the mattress out, and I cannot believe the mess that is down there right now. It is like wrapping paper galore, just stuff from Christmas, laundry we need to do that we didn't get done over the holidays and with being sick, 
everything just got shoved into our extra bedroom. And so I need to, like, it's been sitting on my mind. I need to go down there and fix it up. I am going to start fixing that up so that I can film videos down there, which will be really nice. Um, and then I'm going to make it a little cozy, too, just in case... Um, I can't decide if I want a futon down there or whatnot. We live in a tri-level, and so upstairs we have bedrooms, and then there's a main level, and then downstairs with the office. Um, so all of our bedrooms are close up here, and I was just, we're thinking about when the baby comes, if she is up all night and fussy, I'm going to want somewhere to go to let the rest of the people in my house sleep. My husband works and my kids need their sleep or they're gonna be crazy. So I might get a futon or a twin bed to put down there with like a rock and play, I haven't decided yet. And um, just someplace extra to go so that I am not like trying to let them sleep and go into like a couch or something. And my husband is more than happy to move rooms too, but he does need his sleep. So, um, we're trying to figure that out right now, and I do want to get started on my birth plan today so that I can have it up next week for you guys. So that should be fun. My kids are watching Robin Hood Men in Tights. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> my youngest five-year-old, she you don't, never normally does not, she just does not watch movies, and I think it's been on for 20 minutes, and she's been down there watching it. It's pretty funny. I wonder what they think about it. I should sneak down there and videotape them while they're watching it without them knowing I'm there. <laughs> so I got a pair of LuLaRoe leggings um, yesterday. A family friend brought them over and for Christmas she bought me a pair and both the girls their own pair. They're so stinking cute. I've heard a lot about them but I have not purchased a pair of leggings. Um, but... If you guys are pregnant, oh my gosh, they're amazing. Let me show you their waistband. This is ridiculous, but I just put them on this morning. Their waistband is like two inches, two and a half inches thick. And even when you're pregnant, they are so soft and so comfortable. <coughs> I am in love with them. So, they are so comfy. I might have to look into getting another pair of them. And... Uh, if you guys saw LuLaRoe, leave me a link down below. Um, I might look into getting another pair or two even just to last me out through the rest of my pregnancy because they're so comfortable. Um, but I think that's all. Just come to check in, say hey, how's it going? Trying to get over this darn cold still. I'm sounding better than my girls though. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to have a video up today. So we'll see. That'll be nice. Not this one. An actual another video video. I have a couple in mind that I want to do. And um, I just really need to go down and clean my office so that I do have somewhere to film because my girls are home. And I'm surprised they haven't come and bug me yet because they hear me talking. They're so funny. Alrighty. Well, have a good Friday, everybody. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.